Hello class, good to see you again. First of all, I would like to apologize for my big absence. I was really sick for a couple of days. But guess what? As soon as I recovered, I looked at my watch and I said, what time is it? Oh yes, it's time to teach you some English. Everyone, this is American English File, second edition, book two, student book, part 10A, the mothers of invention. Everyone, look at the pictures. Hmm, what do you see? Hmm, some inventors, right? Do you know any of them? For example, in the first picture, this is Marie Curie. This is Alexander Graham Bell. And this is Thomas Edison. And who's this guy? Oh, yeah. You guessed it right. That's Tesla. Now, I have some questions for you, as always. First, let's read the questions together. Take your time. What is the greatest invention ever? What invention would you like to invent? What is the world's most useless invention? Most useless. Do you think the person who invented the atomic bomb was happy with his discovery? Do new inventions always create new problems? What is the world's most dangerous invention? What is the coolest invention ever? All right. As always, you can add your own questions. Now, I need you to answer the questions and speak with your friends, compare your answers, and share your ideas. This is on you. Good job. That was a very good discussion. Now, everyone, look at these pictures, all right? Five of these things were invented by women, right? Five of them, not all of them, just five. In pairs, you and your friend, decide which five you think they are. Okay, this is the dishwasher, disposable diapers, zipper, windshield wipers, a bulletproof vest, whiteout, a washing machine, and a hair dryer. So, which ones do you think were invented by women? All right, take a guess. Good. Now, everyone, listen to a radio program about inventions. Were you right? Complete the sentences with the invention. All right, it's time for you to listen. 4.37 Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Science Today. On today's program, we are going to hear about women inventors. When we think of famous inventors, we usually think of men. People like Alexander Graham Bell, Guglielmo Marconi, Thomas Edison. But, as Sally will tell us, many of the things that make our lives easier today were invented by women. That's absolutely right. Let's take the dishwasher, for example. This was invented by a woman named Josephine Cochran in 1886. She was a rich American who gave a lot of dinner parties. But she was annoyed that her servants used to break plates and glasses when they were washing the dishes after a party. So, Josephine decided to try and invent a machine that could wash a lot of plates and glasses safely. Apparently, she said, if nobody else is going to invent a dishwasher, then I will. She designed the machine and then she found a company to make it. At first, only hotels and restaurants bought Josephine's new machine. But today, the dishwasher is used by millions of people all over the world. The car was invented by a man. But it was a woman, Mary Anderson, who in 1903 solved one of the biggest problems of driving. Until her invention, it was impossible for drivers to see where they were going when it was raining or snowing. They had to open their window. The name of Mary's invention? Windshield wipers. An invention that definitely improved the lives of millions of people was disposable diapers. They were invented by a woman named Marion Donovan. Her father and uncle were inventors, and when she had young children, she sat down and invented a diaper that you could use and then throw away. 
Anybody who has a small baby will know what a big difference disposable diapers make to our lives. But although she invented it in 1950, it wasn't until 1961 that an American company bought Marion's idea. Today, more than 55 million disposable diapers are used every day, and Marion's invention has been made more eco-friendly. Now you can buy biodegradable diapers. And now to our next inventor. In 1956, Betty Nesmith Graham was working as a secretary. Like all secretaries at that time, she used to get very frustrated and angry when she made typing mistakes. In those days, if you made a mistake, you had to get a new sheet of paper and start again from the beginning. Then she had a brilliant idea, which was to use a white liquid to paint over mistakes. Her invention is called whiteout today. Miss Graham was a divorced mother, and her invention made her a very rich woman. Her son, Mike Nesmith, became a famous pop star. He was a member of the American group, The Monkees. And finally, police officers, soldiers, and politicians all over the world are protected by something that was invented by a woman. In 1966, Stephanie Qualick invented Kevlar, a special material that was very light but incredibly strong, much stronger than metal. This material is used to make bulletproof vests. Stephanie's invention has probably saved thousands of lives. Thank you very much, Sally. So, if you thought that everything was invented by men, think again. All right, that was really interesting. I didn't know many of the facts. Now, check your answers with your friends. All right, so the first one, the dishwasher, was invented by Josephine Cochrane in 1886. And next one, number two, windshield wipers were invented by Mary Anderson in 1903. Disposable diapers were invented by Marion Donovan in 1950. Whiteout was invented by Betty Nesmith Graham in 1956. And the last one, the bulletproof West was invented by Stephanie Kolek in 1966. Very good, but we're not done yet. Now, Everyone, I need you to listen again and answer these five questions. First, take some time, read the questions. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Now, I need you to listen again and answer them. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. 4.37 Good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Science Today. On today's program, we are going to hear about women inventors. When we think of famous inventors, we usually think of men. People like Alexander Graham Bell, Guglielmo Marconi, Thomas Edison. But, as Sally will tell us, many of the things that make our lives easier today were invented by women. That's absolutely right. Let's take the dishwasher, for example. This was invented by a woman named Josephine Cochran in 1886. She was a rich American who gave a lot of dinner parties, but she was annoyed that her servants used to break plates and glasses when they were washing the dishes after a party. So, Josephine decided to try and invent a machine that could wash a lot of plates and glasses safely. Apparently, she said, if nobody else is going to invent a dishwasher, then I will. She designed the machine, and then she found a company to make it. At first, only hotels and restaurants bought Josephine's new machine, but today, the dishwasher is used by millions of people all over the world. The car was invented by a man, but it was a woman, Mary Anderson, who in 1903 solved one of the biggest problems of driving. Until her invention, it was impossible for drivers to see where they were going when it was raining or snowing. They had to open their window. The name of Mary's invention? Windshield wipers. An invention that 
definitely improved the lives of millions of people was disposable diapers. They were invented by a woman named Marion Donovan. Her father and uncle were inventors, and when she had young children, she sat down and invented a diaper that you could use and then throw away. Anybody who has a small baby will know what a big difference disposable diapers make to our lives. But although she invented it in 1950, it wasn't until 1961 that an American company bought Marion's idea. Today, more than 55 million disposable diapers are used every day, and Marion's invention has been made more eco-friendly. Now you can buy biodegradable diapers. And now to our next inventor. In 1956, Betty Nesmith Graham was working as a secretary. Like all secretaries at that time, she used to get very frustrated and angry when she made typing mistakes. In those days, if you made a mistake, you had to get a new sheet of paper and start again from the beginning. Then she had a brilliant idea, which was to use a white liquid to paint over mistakes. Her invention is called Whiteout today. Miss Graham was a divorced mother, and her invention made her a very rich woman. Her son, Mike Nesmith, became a famous pop star. He was a member of the American group, The Monkees. And finally, police officers, soldiers, and politicians all over the world are protected by something that was invented by a woman. In 1966, Stephanie Qualick invented Kevlar, a special material that was very light but incredibly strong, much stronger than metal. This material is used to make bulletproof vests. Stephanie's invention has probably saved thousands of lives. Thank you very much, Sally. So, if you thought that everything was invented by men, think again. And that's what I call women power. Now, let's answer the questions one by one. The first one, what happened after Josephine Cochrane's dinner parties? Well, her servants used to break plates and glasses when they were washing the dishes. All right, number two, what was the problem with cars in 1903 when it rained or snowed? Okay. It was impossible for drivers to see where they were going because there were no windshield wipers at that time. Number three, how many disposable diapers are used every day? More than 55 million. Number four, what was Betty Nesmith Graham's job? What was her job? What did she do at that time? She was a secretary. And the last one? What was special about the material Stephanie Kolick invented? All right. It was very light, but incredibly strong, stronger than metal, right? Well done. You did great. Now, one last thing. Everyone, which of the five inventions do you think was the best? You have them here. Dishwasher, windshield wipers, disposable diapers, whiteout bulletproof. All right. Which of the five inventions do you think was the best? It's time for you to speak with your friends. Part 2. Grammar. Passive. Make five true sentences using the words in the chart. For example, look, the dishwasher was invented by an American woman. All right? So first, stop the video, take some time and do it. Very good. Now, Let's do it together. The second one. Disposable diapers were invented by Marion Donovan. Next one. More than 55 million diapers are used every day. Next one. Ms. Graham's invention is called White Out today. And police officers all over the world are protected by the bulletproof West. All right. You got it all right. Now, everyone, look at the two sentences below and answer the questions. Let's do it together. A. An American woman invented the dishwasher. 
B. The dishwasher was invented by an American woman. Hmm. I guess two of them have the same meaning. We have to see. Do the sentences have the same meaning? Of course, yes. In which sentence is the focus more on the dishwasher? Hmm. The dishwasher was invented by an American woman. An American woman invented the dishwasher. Which one do you think? Hmm. B. The dishwasher was invented by an American woman. In which sentence is the focus more on the woman? All right, of course. A. An American woman invented the dishwasher. Very good. You are understanding what I'm trying to tell you. Now, everyone, I just need you to listen. 4.38 Kevlar is used to make bulletproof vests. Whiteout isn't used very much today. Are disposable diapers used all over the world? The dishwasher was invented by Josephine Cochran. Windshield wipers weren't invented until 1903. When was the washing machine invented? Well done. Now, as you can see, we're going to talk about the passive voice or the passive structure. B. What's B? Am, is, are, was, where. All right. Plus past participle. All right. Was invented. Is used. Right. So we often say things in two ways, in active or in the passive. For example, look, Josephine Cochrane invented the dishwasher, active. What's passive? The dishwasher was invented by Josephine Cochrane. That's the passive. So what is the difference? Let me tell you. In active sentence, the focus is more on Josephine Cochrane, right? In the passive sentence, the focus is more on the dishwasher. So we can say we switch the subject and the object, right? We switch their roles, right? Very good. You guessed it right. You can also use the passive when it isn't known or isn't important who does or who did the action. So when you don't know or when it's not important. Let me tell you. My car was stolen last week. Who stole it? We don't know. Volvo cars are made in Sweden, right? All right, they are made in Sweden, but it doesn't matter who makes them, right? Very good. Just one last point. Use by to say who did the action. The Lord of the Rings was written by Tolkien. All right, now let's practice this together. The structure is really easy. You just change the subject and object locations, and you use am, is, are for present and was, were for past, plus the past participle let's see what you got all right the first exercise complete with present or past passive right stop the video take your time and do it very good now check your answers with your friends mm -hmm. let's do it together all right the sample answer the eiffel tower was completed in 1889 Number one, many of the things we use every day were invented by women. Nice. Number two, in the U.S., most children are educated in public schools. Number three, Australia was discovered by Captain Cook in 1770. Number four, this morning I was woken up by the neighbor's dog. Number five, Baseball is played in the summer in the U.S. Number six. The songs on this album were recorded last year. Number seven. Nowadays, a lot of toys are made in China. Number eight. Carols are songs that are sung at Christmas. Number nine. These birds aren't usually seen in Canada. And the last one, Rome wasn't built in a day. And that's an idiomatic expression as well. For example, 
what's the hurry? The Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Good. Exercise B. Rewrite the sentences in the passive, beginning with the highlighted words. For example, Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1603. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare in 1603, right? Okay, let's do this one together, me and you. Number one, Jonathan Ivey designed the iPod and the iPhone. Okay, the iPod and the iPhone were designed by Jonathan Ivey. Number two, most Mediterranean countries produce olive oil. All right, let's change it. Olive oil is produced by most Mediterranean countries. Herschel discovered Uranus in 1781. Uranus was discovered by Herschel in 1781. So far, so good. Number four. Barry Sonnenfeld directed the Men in Black movies. Okay. The Men in Black movies were directed by Barry Sonnenfeld. Number five, David Hockney painted Mr. and Mrs. Clark and Percy in 1970 to 1971. All right, let's change it. Mr. and Mrs. Clark and Percy was painted by David Hockney in 1970 to 1971. Number six, Elvis Presley didn't write blue suede shoes. All right, let's change it. Blue suede shoes wasn't written by Elvis Presley. Number seven, J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter books. The Harry Potter books were written by J.K. Rowling. And last one, they make Hyundai cars in South Korea. Right? So Hyundai cars are made in South Korea. And now I can say you got it all right. You're smart. Part three, reading and vocabulary. Verbs, invent discover etc all right a match the verbs to the dictionary definitions you can use google translate you can use your dictionaries as well base design discover invent okay match them to these four sentences or to these four definitions very good okay let's do it together discover Verb, to find, to learn something for the first time. For example, DNA was discovered in 1953. All right, next one, number two. Base, verb, to make something using something else as a starting point. For example, this movie is based on a true story. Next one. Design, it's a verb. To draw a plan that shows how to make something. For example, the building was designed by a Brazilian architect. And the last one, invent. It's a verb to make or think of something for the first time. For example, who invented the bicycle? Make sure to Google it. Who did it? And tell me. Well done. Great. Now it's time for the real fun. Did you know... All right, that's the title. Complete the did you know text with the past participle of a verb from the list. All right. What are the verbs? Base, invent, call, open, design, play, discover, show, give, use. All right. This is your gig. I'm going to wait for you. Do it. A few moments later. Very good. You're back. Now let's do it together. One of the most famous logos in the world is the Nike logo. You know Nike, right? This logo. It was designed by an American student or student, Carolyn Davidson, in 1971. Ms. Davidson was only paid $35 for her design. However, she was later given a gold ring in the shape of the logo and Nike shares. So she was given a ring and some shares from the company. Next one. Canned food was invented in 1810. 
in Britain by Peter Durant. Unfortunately, he did not also invent a can opener, so cans were opened with difficulty using a knife and a hammer. So he invented the can, but he didn't invent the can opener. Interesting. It wasn't until almost 50 years later that the American Ezra Warner invented the can opener. Nice. When people at toy company Parker Brothers were first shown the board game Monopoly, they were not interested. They said it had 52 fundamental errors, including taking too long to play. However, a few days later, the company president saw the game and took it home to try it. He stayed up until 1 a.m. to finish playing it. And the next day, he wrote to the inventor, Charles Darrow, and offered to buy it. The modern game of golf was invented in Scotland in the 18th century. It was originally only played by men and was called golf because of the rule Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. G O L F. This is how the word golf entered into the English language. Interesting. Botox was first used in the early 1980s to correct strabismus, lazy eye in children. The possibility of using it to make people's faces look younger was only discovered 20 years later. All right. The character Gregory House in the hit TV series House MD is based on Conan Doyle's detective Sherlock Holmes. Like Holmes, House uses his intelligence and knowledge of psychology to solve cases. House's relationship with his friend Dr. James Wilson is similar to that between Holmes and his friend Dr. John Watson. And the address on his driving license is 22 1B Baker Street. A direct reference to Holmes's address. All right, very good. Now, everyone, read the text again. One of the pieces of information is not true. Which one? Yeah, you guessed it right. You should Google them one by one and find the one which is false. This is on you. Well done. You did great so far. Part 4. Pronunciation. Everybody listen and repeat the words and sounds. 4.39 Shower. Sh. Dishwasher. Invention. Special. Washing machine. So, as you can see, this symbol represents the sound sh, right? Now, let me give you some more information. S-H, shut, shoes. S, sugar, shore. S-H again, wash, finish. C-H, machine, mustache. T-I, patient, information. C-I plus A, special, musician. Not that hard, right? Now, look at ED. Based, called, created, designed, directed, discovered, invented, painted, produced, used. D, T, it. Right? Okay. Now, I need you to just listen and check. Underline the stressed syllable. Let's do it. 4.40 hmm? Dog D Called Designed Discovered Used Tie T Based Produced Id Created Directed Invented. Painted. Well done. Now, everybody, I need you to listen and write six sentences. All right? Your turn again. Listen and write. 
4.41 1. The washing machine was invented in the U.S. 2. These photos were taken with an iPhone. 3. This wine is produced near here. 4. Who was the movie directed by? 5. Who were those pictures painted by? 6. The cash machine wasn't invented until 1967. All right. Now check your answers with your friends. Take your time. Okay. These are the answers. Yes. Number one, the washing machine was invented in the U.S. These photos were taken with an iPhone. This wine is produced near here. Who was the movie directed by? Who were those pictures painted by? The cash machine wasn't invented until 1967. You did great, and you never cease to amaze me. And that's it for today's lesson. Everybody, I would like to apologize again for my absence. I was really sick, and I was really busy at the same time. But now I'm back, and I will try to upload almost every day. Thank you for your patience again. And remember, practice every day, because I promise I will teach you as long as I live. Bye-bye.